Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm gonna do a small project with this Christmas tree. It's a model that my wife's granddad made and I have to replace the lights for it. And the original lights were at a different size so I have to make some spacers to fit them in. But let's have a look after the intro. So, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is a Christmas tree that we usually have in one of our windows over Christmas. And it's a wood model cut out and there are some holes here for, for lights. And the original lights uh, are bust, so I needed to buy a new one. And the new lights were a little bit different, so they, they fit into those holes, but they don't stick because the diameter of the lights is different so I needed to create some spacers and I want to show you a close-up of the, of the situation <laughs> so here are the new lights and those are the holes for it and as you can see the, it just dangles in and doesn't hold and I don't want to glue them in because if I need to replace this one at some point I want to be able to put them out and first I, I made a small spacer out of PLA just very thin spacer that I could uh, slide over like so and, and then fit in and this seems to, to work as well uh, pretty nice but there's some give to it it's not uh, absolutely perfect so I decided to try to do a flexible spacer and I printed those with an Interflex and they seems to give me a more stable result and I just have to put this on here like so and, and, and push in in the light and doing so the, the light stays in pretty stable and I just have to be careful when pushing it in that the, the flexible part will slide all the way in into the hole before and then the light is secured and it's pretty stable and I think this is a, a good fit so now I have to just put in all the lights it's 20 lights that I have to connect and I'm just gonna do that So now I put everything in and it seems pretty stable. The, the pieces I have a few, few left but this seems to be a good fit for every, every light. And now I can have the cable here. Might have to do some cable management here in the back so the, the cables don't show as much. But this is, is a good fit. I'm using, I'm using a, like a blue Ninja Flex. It's very very flexible material. And I'm printing on my Bontech extruder on the Mosquito Hotend on my CR10 and print it out without any issues. But here it is with the lights turned on. It's, a, it's like a family piece. I had this for a very long time and, and my wife really wants to have this working. <laughs> so I needed to, to get the lights, lights in and it's a 20 light series and we normally have this in the kitchen window yeah so this will be it for this video it's just a short christmas project i want to show you what i was doing and it's a good use of a flexible material to to get this to fit in in a good place and be stable so the lights don't pull out I, like i showed in the beginning i used a normal pla and that didn't fit quite right and uh, was somewhat loose in some places and uh, with the wood it's uh, difficult to get a exact measurement uh, between all the holes so a flexible filament is a good option so this will be it for this video i thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one